This is the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Luma 18 liter camera bag, and it has slowly become one of my favorite camera bags. Let's break it down. So Peter McKinnon and Nomadic aren't really new to the camera bag game. They've already have two bags. They have the 35 liter super big bag, which I think is called the travel bag. And then they also have the 25 liter everyday bag. And I have had the pleasure of using the 25 liter bag. And that bag is absolutely fantastic. My only qualm with that bag is just that it's a little too big for everyday carry. So when they announced that this bag was coming out, I was, intrigued to say the least, but I didn't know what benefits this bag brought me over the everyday bag that I was using before. And let me just tell you that it brings a lot. So let's start with the design. So as you can see here, I have the Peter McKinnon Luma bag in this really nice sage color. And most of the time I usually go for black camera bags just because it's understated and it doesn't really draw a lot of attention to yourself. But I was really drawn to this green. It's like a nice seafoam green. Um, I believe it's called Sage. This bag also comes in a myriad of other colors from a burnt orange to a gray, and then also obviously the black and this Sage here. Nomadic does say that this, build, this bag is built with nylon and you can definitely feel it. It doesn't feel like those normal fabric bags that you think will explode within the next two months of owning it. Um, I have had this bag for about a little over two weeks and I've taken it to every shoot. I have taken it everywhere with me and there was a little bit of like dirt and wear and tear on this color because it's not black. So it shows pretty, I would say it shows pretty well when you get some dirt on it, but I threw it in the washer, threw it in the dryer and it came out perfectly fine. As you can see here, it looks good as new. So if you are worried about durability, especially with fabric, uh, don't. Uh, this fabric is super tough and I have no issues whatsoever. I've been throwing around this bag with no qualms. Nomadic has also stated that it's got some pretty light weatherproofing and although I haven't really been able to test that, I have had the 25 liter Peter McKinnon bag for a while and I've had no issues with that bag, whether it be rain or the sand in Arizona, like truly has been a phenomenal bag. So let's take a quick tour around the bag. On this side, you'll see that there is a side access pocket, which I don't really use much. Um, so I think side access is a little bit overrated, but it's nice that it's there. On the other side, you will have a water bottle holder. And then right here at the top, you have a quick access pocket to get to small trinkets, maybe like keys, wallet, um, smartphone, things of that nature. On the back, you will have a luggage pass through, which has slowly become one of my favorite features on a lot of bags. And there is also a dedicated laptop holder in the back as well. Um, it comfortably fits a 13 inch or a 14 inch MacBook Pro, which is what I have. I have also seen from other people that it fits a 16 inch MacBook Pro pretty comfortably. So no worries there. Along the outside of the bag, you will also see these loops and these loops are meant to hold accessories of like any type. So maybe like you have a GoPro mount that doesn't really fit well. Or if you're like me and you have AirPods Max that are huge and don't fold, thank you, Apple. Um, you could totally bongo tie these to the outside of the bag if you're feeling lucky. And I think one of the best features about this bag um, in conjunction with these outside accessory loops is actually going to be right here at the bottom of the bag. And this is going to be a tripod foot. And what that's gonna do is that it's gonna hold the base of your tripod here and you can bongo tie it up here. And it essentially allows for you to hold your tripod on the outside of the camera bag whilst keeping your water bottle pocket free for your actual water bottle instead of it pulling double duty. And that is that has been really valuable for me because it allows me to use the limited amount of space in this bag more efficiently. Another thing I will say, Pete, thank you for including a bongo tie in this bag. Um, in the other, the 25 liter backpack, it didn't come with a bongo tie, which 
kind of irked me just because it essentially made that this side tripod pocket was not useless, but it became a whole lot less useful because I didn't have any bongo ties on me. One of the things that I enjoy the most about this bag is this super duper slim profile. So for reference, I am six foot three. And one of my biggest issues with a lot of camera bags is that whenever I'm on an airplane, they don't really fit under the seat. And that's a big issue for me because I like having all my camera gear with me. And it also ends up carrying my iPad, my Switch, and other essential things that I would need while I'm flying. So having a backpack that can fit underneath the seat in front of me while still giving me legroom is really important to me. So that is a really big feature. Um, I would say that this bag is maybe 35% slimmer than the everyday bag that Pete has. And it's really fantastic. On the inside, you can see that there are a couple of pockets right here on this back flap. Um, there are two up here, or it's like one big pocket kind of separated down the middle. And then down here is just one large long pocket for maybe accessories like wires, cables, power banks, things of that nature. And that is pretty much it when it comes to pockets on this bag. I will say, I wish there were maybe a couple more pockets, nothing too crazy, right? Again, this is a very slim bag. It's only 18 liters, not really meant to carry that much stuff. But I would have liked to maybe see a little more pockets, maybe in this top hood, in this top compartment, just for like little trinkets that I may have. And despite the 18 liter nature of this bag, it actually holds quite a bit of stuff and these dividers are super sturdy and malleable. So it allows for the most flexibility when creating a space that works for you and your gear. So as much as I can talk about this bag and like wax poetic about how absolutely fantastic it is, I think the best way to really get a solid gist of how this bag will work for you is giving you an example loadout. So I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of everything I carry in this bag. I'm not gonna go over everything. It's just like to see what it can carry. And honestly, I'm not even using this bag to its full potential. So your mileage may vary. Let's see what we have inside. So um, first things first is going to be a camera body. This is a small old film camera that I don't even use, right? Most of the time it would be my current setup, which is an A7R5 with a 2414. Um, I also have a 512 in here, fits very, very easily in here, as well as a flash trigger, an SD card reader in case, battery charger, rocket blower, as well as extra batteries up here in this pocket. I will have the bongo tie and an SD card in here. And then in this top compartment here, as you can see, I have my AirPods Max. Um, this also comfortably fits my Nintendo Switch. I can put right there as well. And that's honestly everything that I carry like in an everyday carry, as well as almost forgot, in this laptop compartment, I can fit something like, we'll use my iPad for example that fits very easily in here. And after I after I zip everything up, just like this, one of the greatest things is that I have this bag filled and it still keeps its really thin profile. So really excellent. And I think that's what differentiates this bag from other everyday camera bags, is that this is probably the best blend of customizability while still being light and portable. While it is only 18 liters, it certainly doesn't feel like that especially because of the customizability with those dividers, right? You really can shape this bag into whatever fits your needs best. And for me, I think it holds more than enough for everyday carry and it's super light. It comes in at under three pounds, so it doesn't feel like you have a boat anchor on your back. So here are my closing thoughts. Currently on B&H, this bag goes for $220, which I think is a little steep for what you're getting. While again, this is my favorite camera bag, Honestly, by a country mile, $220 is a lot to pay for when you can get other bags like the uh, Peak Design 15 liter everyday zip, I think is about $180. And even for even less than that, you can get the excellent Brevity Jumper for about $160. So I think whilst this camera bag is fantastic, it is a tad overpriced. With that being said, if you're looking for a fantastic everyday bag with minimal to no compromises, absolutely fantastic build quality and really thoughtful features for creators like us, I don't think you can go wrong with this bag. 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and stick around because I know this is my first official long form video, so it may be a little rough around the edges, but hopefully you guys can grow with me. Keep on creating. Mm, mm, mm. Recording a roll, recording a roll. I need to see how it sounds. Uh, 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 u